How's it going guys? Bobby here with a really quick video on uploading files via an FTP software. Now I've seen questions and problems pop up pretty often and it's definitely something that can seem pretty intimidating, but it's actually pretty easy, so let's jump in. For this video, I'm gonna be using FileZilla, which is a free program. I put the link in the description and we're gonna be uploading some stock footage that I've prepared to servers on Blackbox. As a side note, if you are a content creator and you're not making some passive income with stock footage, check out my video that I'll put up here and I'll link it in the description as well. With that said though, there will be some minor differences if you're uploading to a client server or something like that, but generally this is all gonna be the same. All right, so I have some stock footage here. I actually already uploaded this, but I have upload two here with a variety of footage that we are going to send uh, to the server. So we are going to pull up FileZilla. All right, so up here, you're gonna have a few things that you need to fill out to connect. There's gonna be a host, username, password, and maybe a port. That will depend on where you're uploading, so make sure you get that from your client, or if you're uploading to a uh, black box, like I'm gonna be doing for stock footage. Um, it's in their curation guide and on their website. So I'm gonna go type in the info that I need, which is portal.blackbox.global, and then it's just going to be my username and password for the site, which I'm gonna blur out here. And for Blackbox, there's no port, but again, if you are uh, doing this for a specific client server or something like that, which sometimes we've done for uh, different commercial projects, you wanna maybe have a port number and you'll get that from your client. Hit quick connect. Um, sometimes this will pop up, which is that the certificate is unknown. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Not an issue for me here. I've connected them many times before, so I'm just gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna go back here just so you see. Here I am in, uh, this is the hard drive that I'm uploading from, Travel SSD. I'm gonna go into Utah Stock, and again, this is stuff that I've already uploaded, so I'm gonna do upload two. These are the ones that I wanna upload here. And then for Blackbox specifically, uh, I'm gonna go into Stock Footage here, and this is where I'm gonna drop it, just right in this general area, not in any of these specific folders. Now, if you're doing this again, uh, not for Blackbox, if you're doing this for a client, they might have a designated folder for you um, that you'll need to find on their server. But the way to look at it is that this half here is what you are grabbing from. So this is local. These are my files, my hard drives, etc., my computer. And over here is going to be the site, uh, as you see up here, the remote site. So this is going to be the client or the server that you're uploading to. Make sure you get it right on where you're putting footage because it can cause a mess if you don't. I'm just gonna highlight everything here. I'm gonna click and drag over, plus sign uh, shows up, let go. And you can see it's starting to upload here and you can monitor it down here. It'll do cl two clips at a time and you can monitor the percentage. Once they're done, they should show up here in successful transfers. If there's any problems, they'll show up in failed transfers. But other than that, you are pretty much good to go with those instructions. So there it is guys, a quick, easy tutorial on using an FTP software like FileZilla to upload files to a server. Whether you're using this for stock footage, raw video delivery, or something else, I hope this helps you out. Be sure to check out my video on why all content creators should be selling stock footage. And as always, subscribe for more videos.